Hey guys, so in my last video, I talked about how self-criticizing can basically kind of kill the move of God and it kind of puts us in a place that we cannot fully live in love. But as you keep on reading the scripture that we're working on, which is in 1 John 3, um, it says, and this is once again the message translation, it's just kind of blowing me away. And friends, once that's taken care of and we're no longer accusing or condemning ourselves, we're bold and free before God. Okay, so first off, this condemning, this, um, you know, like thing, this is holding us back. Now we can be bold before God, right? We couldn't before because we were too busy criticizing ourselves. But now that we're dealing with that, we can come boldly before God. We couldn't do that before. So if you're criticizing yourself, you can't walk boldly before God. You can't move in that way. But then it says, because we can walk boldly and free before God, it says, we're able to stretch our hands out and receive what we asked for because we're doing what he said, doing what pleases him. So since now we can start to live in love, whenever it, it kind of makes a promise here, it's like, hey, whenever you reach out because you're doing the things, you're moving and operating in God's reality in love, whenever you reach out your hand, God's going to respond. And whenever you ask for something because you're doing, and it's not, not that you earned it or anything like that, but you're living in his reality. You're starting to see things from his perspective. The things that you need because you're seeing things from his reality and his perspective are the things you really need, and you'll receive them. So I just want to encourage you, man, self-criticism, self, you know, it's, it's self-reflection that so much more is can be so devastating if we do it way too much. And I just wanna throw out there that, you know, like, hey, there's more for us on the other side. So that being said, let's live in God's reality. Let's start looking at ourselves the way God sees us. If you don't see someone worth the cross whenever you look in the mirror, then you're not seeing yourself the way that God sees you. Maybe you should. Thanks for taking a minute.